Welcome back. Well, uh, let's focus on the market now. We have Trudeep Bhattacharya, who is the CIO Equities at EWI's AMC, joining in with his take on the markets. Trudeep, hi. Welcome to the show. Well, it's definitely some amount of recovery which has taken place for the small caps as well as for the mid caps. But what would you be recommending to your clients? What are you doing with your own portfolio when it comes to the broader markets? Do you think it's prudent to take some profits off the table, even though we've seen a correction? So I think we have been saying for the last few months that uh, given that uh, 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 there are pockets of irrational exuberance within mid and small caps, it's, it's time to be selective uh, within mid and small caps. Now, being selective is being different from taking money out completely. We are not saying that one should get out of mid and small caps, but it's time to be sort of a little selective in stock picking within mid and small caps. And we... Um, uh, over the last two or three months, there have been some instances where it has been to the forefront that uh, it's better to be that way. I think the uh, in the re recent fall, yesterday, the analysis that we did is worth reporting. And what I would say is that while portfolios make money for investors in different market conditions, it's important to understand where the outperformance really comes from. And in that context, at least in our portfolios, what we said is that when markets were correcting, you know, overall, uh, 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 the outperformance relative to the market in a falling market was reasonably high, which means that our exposure to those areas where there were a little bit of uh, exuberance coming through were uh, uh, low at the starting point. And given that is the starting point, yesterday was actually a good day for us to nibble into the market to, uh, you know, buy into some of the stocks which corrected uh, probably more than warranted. And we did that. So yesterday on net balance uh, at Edelweiss MF, we had net buy flows rather than sell flows across our funds, that was, uh, uh, that's something that I can confirm. So wh what was it that you bought, if I may ask you, was it more of what you own already or were there some fresh entries as well? Well, I think uh, uh, at, the, at the first instance, we were kind of doubling, uh, doubling up on some of the stocks which we own, which we, uh, while we were buying it, ran up too much too soon and uh, 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 good to see a bit of correction and we added on the back of that. Uh, we haven't sort of taken the plunge to really kind of bought into new, buy into new uh, uh, scripts at this point in time because I think, quite frankly, a 10% correction is uh, a healthy correction rather than anything really substantial. But I think if, if it were to go that way, uh, rather than being scaremongering about mid and small caps, I would use that opportunity to buy in rather than kind of, you know, move on to other segments. But having said that, as I said, my starting point is my exposure to some of the areas where stocks had run up quite heavily uh, are not that high. So relatively, uh, our starting point is uh, quite uh, quite good for, um, for me to make those decisions. How are you approaching banks considering the amount of news? You know, there's news with regards to Federal Bank and South Indian Bank when it comes to seizing uh, issuance of new co-branded cards. There is some amount of concerns with regards to gold loan practices now. Uh, your approach towards the entire banking space. Yeah, so I think what we have, uh, we have been underweight financial services overall, but within that, we have taken a slightly more uh, uh, positive view towards NBFCs, which are AAA and above. Um, and uh, this is an existing stance for the last uh, uh, three, four months. Um, and, and, and those have relatively, in an absolute terms, actually held up quite well. Uh, so by and large, in this correction, we have sort of, uh, 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 we've done quite well off late. We had booking, booked some profits in the PSU bank, so that's kind of uh, 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 helped us at the sharp end of the uh, of the rise. And the other thing generally, which I would like to point out uh, in the portfolios that we have done is over the last three or four months, we have added on uh, uh, in weakness to IT. Um, in days like this, when uh, uh, when markets saw a good bit of a uh, uh, cool down, uh, 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 that sector doing well kind of held, uh, held us in good stead um, overall from a portfolio standpoint. You actually preempted my next question, Tridip. I was speaking about IT largely because if I look at your large cap fund, your flexi cap funds, uh, there isn't much IT representation among the top holdings there. But if you look at your small cap funds, among the top five shares that uh, are there with regards to you know the weightage, you have Birla Soft, which is number one, 3.1%. And the other one is Persistent Systems, around 2.3% as well. So are you more um, you know uh, looking at the mid-cap space in the IT sector or are you looking at large names as well? 
I see where you're going with that. So net net, if you actually look at even in our flexi cap and other uh, uh, funds that you mentioned, versus the benchmark weight, we would be overweight IT services about 100 to 200 basis points. Um, uh, uh, in, in terms of active weight in uh, top five in small cap, it is showing up just because some of these may not necessarily be, uh, for example, persistent is a mid cap and hence the active weight shows up as high. But net net, to answer your question in the direction that you're looking for, Basically, uh, within tech, we are overweight uh, mid cap tech over large cap tech, um, particularly in those areas or in those companies where we see relatively the growth being better uh, in this period of time. Our hypothesis in IT is overall that this year is a basing year of earnings in the sense that uh, if gro global growth were to pick up next year, then the growth rates for Indian IT services will pick up as we get towards the back end of this uh, year rather than right now. This is a good time to do some bottom fishing in and around uh, 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 names where we can find uh, uh, weakness in the share prices. And we think uh, the fundamental nature of the business lends itself to at least mid double digit growth. Uh, so with those, that sort of a framework, we have been taking a more positive and nuanced view on IT over the last three or four months. We actually launched a technology fund as well, uh, which has done quite well. Okay. Well, uh, ahead of elections, any tweaking in terms of the portfolio? Yeah, I think uh, I mentioned we uh, 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 booked some profits in PSU banks. Um, that's some, certainly something that we have done uh, 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 getting into uh, elections in areas uh, where uh, 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 government intervention could be in the form of uh, some SOPs, which could be, you know, OMCs. We had taken some profits earlier. Um, uh, uh, so those were two areas that where we lightened our portfolio over the last month or two uh, 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 heading into election overall. But I think if I look at the, uh, the, the tonality of the current incumbent government, it doesn't seem to be, and it has not been during its tenure as well, that too much of uh, goodies is being doled out. So they behave uh, rationally. I think some of the areas in defense is, uh, uh, is, are the places that we have taken some profits as well. Um, but these are all tactical moves rather than structural moves. We continue to remain positive on defense. It is just that next uh, three to six months, they could see a bit of a lull in the ordering momentum as the election momentum picks gear. I'm tempted to ask you this, and you can say uh, answer in yes or no before we let you go, Tridip. The ITC supply that happened yesterday, were you participants in that? Um, overall, uh, ITC is a holding in our portfolio. Uh, that's a factual information. Um, and I think uh, overall we have made uh, in the last two or three years good amount of money on the same. Um, and we think that as long as earnings growth is intact, uh, we continue to remain uh, uh, positive on companies that there is. That's all I can, I'll go and say without getting specific. All right, take that point. Thank you so much for joining in and giving us your views on a whole host of sectors, the markets as well. Uh, looking to double up on a couple of these stocks that he had already largely on uh, the corrections that we saw yesterday. Not really worried about the small cap correction. Take a short break, come back.